All right, welcome everyone. We are Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Hajime, Hajime no Ippo, Ippo episode 10. 10. All right. Okay. So Ippo is a professional boxer. He is indeed. In the featherweight yes. uh, mm -hmm. uh, bracket. And he's about to have section. his debut match. And uh, yes. left on the cliffhanger of who his opponent shall be. Yes, that is, that is true. Mm -hmm. Uh, Miyata and his other new rival, uh, Mashiba, have already had their first matches, mm -hmm. absolutely crushing their opponents, it yep. seems. Uh, Mashiba's counterpunch is uh, very effective. It, just very effective. Uh -huh. Here, uh, Ippo's uh, had his little encounter with the bullies mm -hmm. and <laughs> had the yeah. amazing yeah. jab, yeah. Yeah. but also mm -hmm. weaved and bobbed like uh, Takamura did way mm -hmm. back when oh, yeah. to, uh, to avoid. Mm -hmm. and, and it's cool for us to see not how Ippo, j just how Ippo does it, but that Ippo has learned so much from Takamura as well, just by being inspired by the guy, mm -hmm. like in as much as he's, you know, also kind of been like the, you know, the, the senpai for him. You know? Right. Like, uh -huh. Yeah. So, yeah. Pretty cool just stuff. Cool. Just yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, Ippo is going to have <laughs> his first match. And, and the thing is this, this show has such crazy pacing sometimes, like we could be actually getting into that match to like today in this uh -huh. episode, yep. you know, I wouldn't be surprised. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, welcome everyone. We are Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Hajime no Ippo, episode 10. Full length reaction. Enjoy, guys. All right, we're going to start the episode in five, four, three, two, one, now. <laughs> We're gonna get so good at singing this one, and then it's gonna like switch. No, Ikari Okuten, yeah, yeah, no, you may only day. Broly go, the fighting. Animo, kange izunu i, ima yo, ikuru dake no. No, no, street song. <laughs> I want to dive lost to mine. I want to dive lost to mine. Oh, there's number two. I want antagonist. Feeling. I want feeling. Be more. I want to dive lost to mind. I want to dive lost to mind. I why 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 want to die feeling over Do you say no I got kimi ni Ishi no hikari o kuteru Yeah I know you may omite Rolling go Wow pow It's called you Yusuke Oda. Mm. <gasps> dun dun dun. <laughs> Takamura, like, trying to scare him. Okay. Cool. Debut <laughs> え、ちょっと待って。聞いたぜ。え、オダなんだ。知ってるんですか?うん。俺と同じジュニアライトだ。ここじゃ歌つが上がらないもんで、フェザーで出世しようって払えよ。ま、4回戦の先生のやつなん
<laughs> oh, that's his. Oh, gotcha. nice. Daughter of the gym. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, this guy's this guy's ruthless. <laughs> oh. Ah. Gotcha. <laughs> I love this gym coach, like, mm -hmm. he's amazing. Jeez, that's pretty awesome, though. Mm -hmm. <sighs> てめえと来たら運の坊主。おお。Oh, dang. Uh, she's like, you could have, like, asked me what I think. But... Yeah, she's like, I, I, I want to say something, too. I mean, I'm with you in that he needs to show more, like, great. Oh, whoa. What? What the heck is that? Ooh. Oh, that would hurt. It's disgusting. <laughs> This greenhorn show us up. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, that was a fun transition. Oh, nice. That's a cool connection there. Yeah. Oh, no. 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 Wow, this is Dang. amazing. <laughs> Tell your fortune. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how he rigs it. Is he using tarot cards? Oh no, just gotcha. <laughs> Extra lucky. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what's the joke? Ace of Hearts? I don't. Is, I don't know. Well, why do they. I, I, I wish. Maybe it's actually like your love life will about to, is about to take a turn for the better or something like oh, that. Oh, right, like he always uses the Ace of Hearts. Oh, and gotcha. it's like. Sure, and yeah, then yeah. he just changes what he says. Changes what he says, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Bro. That's sad. Yeah. Way to go, Reiko. What <gasps> だってもうユースケの何を信じていいのかわからないもの。おお、デイン。バカだからかつって言ってんだろ。今度の試合見りゃわかるって。今度の試合。さっき偶然相手の人たちがあなたのこと話してくれちゃったの。ピエロだって。
Oh, this, wow. is, this is great. Like we just met this guy. Oh, and she was attracted to that. Yeah. yeah. Like, yes, he's 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 got that passion, that seriousness, mm -hmm. but he doesn't back it up with his actions. Right. Oh. 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 I mean, boy. if that's not motivation, I don't know yeah. what is. The thing is, boy. it's too late now at this point. Well, no, no. If he goes back to the gym right now, if he goes right back inside. <laughs> yeah, change your clothes right now and you go back in the gym. Don't let your ego get in the way yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was not what I was That's expecting. Great. That's hilarious. <laughs> So he's always oppositely accurate. That's that's hilarious. Wow, here we go. We've got a fight now. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I am your trainer. Hmm. Go run. Alright. Okay. All right. He's motivated. Yep. I like this kind of uh, indirect inspiration by the protagonist's passion. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Like on some level, if he had like, you know, this was his third or fifth match too. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yep. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Cool. See, this is also the great thing is that even if he loses this match here, he's still giving he's, it his all. Yeah. Yeah. He might he might come back into their good graces because he'll mm -hmm. take his right. He'll take his effort into the uh, the yeah. training that goes into mm -hmm. the future matches. You know. Right. There it is. Go body blows. Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> nice. We're building it up. Oh, in in a hot room too. Yeah. Oh, it's way to help him yeah. like burn out the fat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dang. there he is. Yep. Oh no, what if he doesn't pass the way in? Boy! Wow. Wow, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you look good. Yeah. <laughs> はじめまして。この一歩でよろしくお願いします。ピエロかどうか見せてやるぜ。おお。おお。会長、あの人本当に根性なじゃないですか。話と全然違いますよ。確かにあれは根性なしに作れる体じゃない。うん。じゃあ
Now, Ipo's getting the uh, direct feedback from the inspiration that came from the indirect contact right. from yes. Ipo yes. and his friends. Uh -huh. So it's all circular, looping back <laughs> in on itself. And it's wonderful. It's just amazing. <laughs> ah. Oh, it's the tree. Yep, yep. Oh, is he going to try just to see where he's at now? I mean, why not? He's going to shadow box. Why not shadow box in a place where uh, it's got some importance to it? Gotcha. It's just going to shadow box here. Okay, gotcha. Nice. Oh, we're going to go all the way up until the match starts and the episode's going to end. Probably, That's what it's yeah. going to be, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is it. Mm-hmm. This is Legit it. match. Yep. <laughs> Ten episodes ago, he, he didn't know mm -hmm. how to box. <laughs> nope. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. <laughs> They're like, yeah, yeah, new guy. Woo, all right. <laughs> <laughs> the lights are I, so uh -huh. crazy. Yep, and I, I love how they're they're building up just holy crap, this is actually Whoa. happening. I'm actually doing this. Dang. You're here. Uh huh. You're here. <laughs> right? <laughs> cool. Oh, you know what I just realized? What? If Ipo wins this match. Mm -hmm. It'll mean more for him because he's placed he's placed against someone that's from a higher rank. So I don't know uh -huh. how I don't know how like the ranking system works, like the standings or what have mm -hmm. you. But this should give him a lot of points if he wins. Comparatively, if he was fighting someone in the same class, uh, right? Well, I think. Well, the thing is, is that he still came down to this level. Oh, so okay. like normally he was at that level, but but I mean maybe maybe I mean I, the real question is that other people see. Oda as being lazy in a bum. Right? Yeah, but he still has a positive win record. You know? Right, right. Yeah. Uh huh. I think it's more or less that he lost probably twice in a row or something, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Okay, you have to go down, uh, right? You know, weight class, because mm -hmm. in yeah. general, you know, that's the kind of thing." And probably what happened was the gym was like, "Let's set him up against some greenhorn, mm -hmm. someone who's new, and that'll maybe." Uh, you know, get us a positive win. Michelle Ruff us. was... Oh, cool. What? Oh, I just noticed one of the dub voice actresses. Okay. Okay. All right. All cool. right. This is a very it's... good introduction to Oda. Yeah, it really was. And mm -hmm. I didn't expect them to do that necessarily because the, with the, um, the, the, the Mashiba guy, mm -hmm. he isn't really a character. He's an antagonistic <sighs> force, right? Oh, uh, I'm Mashiba. Yeah. Like, I don't like you. I mean, I am... Bad I punched the wall when I went right, exactly. But the thing you know, is, is that they'll give more time to develop Mashiba maybe yeah. in the future. But, but, the thing but is even with, then, it seems to be more set up for comeuppance and how much, yes. how, like how satisfying that will be rather than us actually rooting for both sides. Yes. But here with Oda, they set up both sides. Like this, this was an Oda episode. Like Ippo had good focus and stuff and uh -huh. his moment at the tree and everything that was fantastic. But this was an Oda episode. Yep. That we got a new character here, and mm -hmm. we really gave them depth and motivations and all that stuff, mm -hmm. more than a lot of the characters that we have already at the, the right. Kamigawa gym. So, yeah. And, and yeah. specifically with adding also the aspect of having the coach and the coach's daughter mm -hmm. being integrally tied yep. into the setup there. Uh, yeah. You know, having a coach makes sense, but having the coach's daughter being someone who's been kind of worrying about his lack of motivation and passion because mm -hmm. it was something she was attracted to. Right. And now she's like, you know, taking agency as a character and mm -hmm. saying, hey, you know, I, I don't like the you that you're turning into. Right. So if you're going to change into that, that's fine. But yeah. I won't be around if mm -hmm. that's going to be the thing. Yep. Like, yep. And, and I love that that was, that was something that, you know, 
that was basically the last bit for Oda. Like, he was going to continue with the way he was doing things mm -hmm. until she said that. Right. And the thing was is that the coach didn't, like, have her do that. Nope. That was just her moment. Yep. And mm -hmm. Oda had a little bit of a wake-up like moment right. it's just like oh i can't just breeze on by in life mm -hmm. and this is something that i think most of us like most of us need to hear is that there's unfortunately some harsh truths or realities to people that kind of just slack off generally in life sure and you won't you won't make it by you know in the same way of those that actually like put their nose to the grindstone and mm -hmm. actually like put in the, do daily, the do yeah the daily effort the do exactly mm -hmm. And it's not usually apparent immediately what the consequences of, of slacking off are. You right. don't really mm -hmm. see those usually. Yeah. And, and what I think is also a really good thing to bring up is that Oda apparently had slacking off habits, little tiny moments of that mm -hmm. early on. Right. So there is something in his character that yeah. saw it to be okay to... Uh, but, slack off a little uh -huh. bit, but he utilized his passion to channel uh, right. through that so that he would still gain good results. But I think that in some ways it's already too late for him. Yes. And that's probably well, the consequence well. that's unfortunate mm -hmm. is that if he had not slacked off from mm -hmm. the beginning, right. he would be he would be not in the position where he's panicking at the last second to try and, you know, exactly. gain all these new skills and he would be probably really good because the coach saw something that was like a countrywide mm -hmm. potential yep. amazing right. player or boxer mm -hmm. and now it's like well let's try to make you win this match at any cost right uh-huh you know and and the thing is is that even if he loses this match right it was set up to very much be the end but it doesn't totally. necessarily have to be even if he say can't go to that gym anymore or you know whatever yep or, or isn't sponsored by the gym right he um, can still work hard he to... can still work hard and all that stuff because because this is the beginning yes. right it's not the end mm -hmm. um so yeah but I, I i want him to lose here not just because mm -hmm. i want Ipo to win but i want right. him to basically see that it's not enough to just do it at the last minute. Yep. Right? It's not enough to just prepare once it's like, oh, yeah, that's right. And then, you know, cram for the test, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah. Did you notice how they made a point of him saying because of his raw talent, he doesn't feel like he needs to cover up for his shortcomings? Uh -huh. Those other guys. Yeah, He's yeah, like, oh, those yeah. other guys. Yeah. They're with their mm -hmm. futile effort co right. trying to cover up their uh -huh. shortcomings. Yep, yep, yep. It's like, yo, okay, here's actually something I, I really want to. The talk philosophy with with you guys a little bit i really do believe actually in focusing on your strengths your shortcomings are your shortcomings sure but the uh -huh. thing is is when you're in a physical sport when you're in a physical sport we're not talking about your personality here when you're talking yeah. about the things that are your personal right. skills and stuff right. yes you will have shortcomings mm -hmm. you you're, you're, yeah. you have the whole nature aspect of who you are sure. but when it's a sport no all, almost all of that is nurture based like well and and you're talking about competing for the top, like, you know, per, like, not even one percentile, or maybe, yeah, exactly. maybe but, you know, you're, you're talking about, like, every little bit every has little a bit counts. huge difference. Yeah. So you can't say that anything is beneath your notice. Exactly. Really. So the person that puts in, you know, puts in, you know, 100% effort, they, they, mm -hmm. they go after it, yeah. will... I would say, on you know, over a course of a hundred games, of course, there's all this luck and all those other mm -hmm. factors to put into play. Will, um, will, will edge out against someone that's of equal, you know, talent, skill, and all that, right? But only puts in like yeah. seventy percent effort. One of the things that I thought was really cool this episode was how they showed that Ipo was okay because the whole thing is like the, the the fighting spirit of our main character, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And they showed Ipo still training super seriously even though everyone else was saying oh yeah this this match will be a breeze you know that's a Oda good doesn't point take seriously yeah and how that affected aoki and you know kimura as they're like they're sort of like laughing at him but like he's such a try hard you know and then yeah, they're like yeah hmm. you know that that was actually kind of funny that that moment mm -hmm. where they kind of stopped for a second and then looked back at each other Ugh. Oh, <laughs> like basically realizing that they can't slack off either just right. because, mm -hmm. uh, yep. you know, kind of the, the goofiness of what's going on. And also they're not getting the primary focus of their gym coach, which sure. this is something that I am really glad one hasn't come up yet because I think it would detract from any of the characters. Mm -hmm. But if they wanted to introduce a new character and have this be a topic that's brought up, that would be very cool because I think by that time, whenever that comes up, 
Ipo will be a greater character and one he'll probably be able to train on his own. Train on his own, but also if he's still getting like special attention and focus and stuff, he will remember what it was like for these people to be kind of the the, the green horn coming Oh, sure. Uh-huh. So, yeah, that's yeah, a, that'd yeah. be a cool thing to come up with eventually. Yeah. But also, I, I mentioned it in the episode, but I love when protagonists' passion inspires yes. mm-hmm. their antagonist uh-huh. indirectly. Yep. This is like some straight up like things that like, you know, uh, Deku did with right. um that is the avatar with Zuko. Mm-hmm. It's yep. it's yep. it's all that stuff. That that is amazing because mm-hmm. cuz here's the thing. In 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 a story where you know you got a sports setting like that, there's no one evil really in this whole setup here. Yeah. Like there are people that come off really aggressive and uh, and mushy, but yeah. we don't like them for uh-huh. sure. But none of them are. <laughs> I mean, maybe not. Maybe as far as we know, maybe mushy, but maybe, you know. maybe there is one eventually. We I mean, haven't they, met they yet. Practically gave him like 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 they gave like a gray tint to his like skin and everything. Yeah, like, I mean, he's not kicking zombie. puppies. Jacob. I know. Yeah. So yeah. so uh-huh. so, so right. the point is that no one is. No one is a no one is a complete and total scumbag as far as we know. Right. And when characters get to see or get to experience the after effects of someone else's passion, there's something that I would say kind of can catch fire inside of you where you allow their fire to become yours and it you get this vicarious like energy boost it's um, something i don't i don't think is really physical it's more of a mental thing but when you see someone excelling and just going after what they're going after with intensity mm-hmm. you get the experience that reiko did where it attracts you to them yep. it it it, oh, yeah. it it is actually attractive it's something that you just kind of go oh i i like it yeah. and she called it i i loved how she called it did she say intense and scary but I liked it basically. Um, I'm not sure if she said that or if that was what his coach. Said. No, no, that oh, was yeah, what she that said. That was her. That was her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was just uh-huh. wondering if she didn't say if she said something other than intense and scary. She, yeah. Um, I think it was intense, and I don't know if she said scary, but I think yeah. I think that's that's mm-hmm. what it is though. Mm-hmm. When you see someone that yeah. has an insanely intense level of passion, it's a little scary because you're like. I do not understand that passion. Like that passion for that is a little bit, uh, it's, a, mm-hmm. it's a little bit obsessive. Right. But then you look at it and you go, but wait a minute. They know what they're about. They're going after the thing that they love. And They want what they mm-hmm. want. And yep. something about someone choosing that day after day after day yep. after day and that consistency and that focus. Mm-hmm. Oh God, yeah, that's super attractive. Yep. And even if it's not something that leads you into wanting to get into a relationship with the person mm-hmm. like Reiko, right. you can use that to be like, oh yeah, and say you're, I don't know, a grocery store clerk or something like that. Sure. You can get really passionate about being a positive influence on the customers that walk uh-huh. through your aisle or whatever. Right. And it's, I, yeah. I love passion. I love yes. passion. And I love seeing the effects of passion mm-hmm. indirectly affect others and then also seeing mm-hmm. it loop yep. back yep. Yep. to others there. So, yeah, that was great. It just, that was oh, that's, that's good. Uh-huh. Um, favorite moment for this episode, though. I don't. Well, actually, I'm. I'm not even sure. I was gonna say the part of the tree, but the, the but the stuff that they did with Oda really was good. Even mm-hmm. though he was introduced this episode, they really made me care about him as a character. Yeah. And give him growth over the course of the episode. True. While still then fitting in, uh, Ippo's awesome scene at the tree where he yeah you know, remembers just how far he's come. Mm-hmm. And and I think that's really good because that's sort of like showing the the um, well the parallel at the end, but the contrast at the beginning. You know, with right. Ippo and Oda. Because Oda is all like, ah, yeah, I'm going places, I'm hot shot, I'm, you know, I'm gonna do so great and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas Ippo, while he's training, overly much so, because you know, at this point, he still thinks that the the dude is, you know, like from what he's seen, heard from other people, he's right. gonna be a pushover, right? Yeah. He still goes back to, all right, this is where I started. Yeah. yeah, when I when I you know trained all you know all night practically just to just to be able to you know get the leaves and stuff and yeah okay yeah, yeah. And shadow back box under the under the eaves of this tree yeah fun, funniest moment for me was probably the uh, the, the the drawing the card thing and then oh. him giving like the hundred <laughs> percent the, the opposite the GTO phase of like it's actually the complete opposite yeah. <laughs> which I, I am actually kind of excited about. Because what I would like to see here mm-hmm. is I would like to see a little bit of experience on Oda's side coming into play here. Sure. Where he actually drags the match out long. And the reason why Oda loses is not because of his punches being like unable to hit. Just and not because of like anything else, just stamina. I want the whole thing of the running okay. bit. Because here's something that uh, 
as a as a frisbee player is is just crazy. There are guys that I play with that have stamina that is terrifying, and I'm not talking about like young guys necessarily. I'm talking about like guys that are even older than me, and they'll run at insane speeds and then they won't stop. They'll go for two hours, you know, more th- of mm-hmm. that, and it's just like, oh my god! Like if I tried to spend a week mm-hmm. trying to up my running capacity to match their stamina and stuff no no it would take me months it would take me months probably to yeah. get get to that get to that level so so i i want that to be the area where he couldn't have but because he came in the last you know last week or whatever mm-hmm. he won't be able to match ipo's ability to go the distance sure um and that would be pretty cool also because then that would make the match feel more intense that it would go on a little bit longer and okay. a yeah, lot of the yeah. matches that they've been showing recently have, uh, I would say, been the purpose of kind of moving the story along, so they end really quickly. Like sure. Takamura is just right. one punch, he's right. down. Everything except for the Miata fight. Cause Everything one, except for the Miata of fight. Of course, yeah. But and I, that's why the Miata fight, I think, was so good. Right. Uh-huh. Was that they were yep. trading yep. blows for blows. And and yeah. they, they did a really good job of building up Miata, but also here, by having mm-hmm. the match be longer, that'll be able to have Oda show that he really is hungry for this, right? Yes, he's not, yes. He's not just half-assing it. He is, he is yeah. giving his everything to this. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that way, even if he loses, mm-hmm. you know, it's it's kind of like the thing that he said where it's like, I may have lost that match, but I won the I won the war, or, you mm-hmm. know, or I won the battle or whatever. That's what I feel like this will be. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I am I am excited for Oda. Mm-hmm. I am worried for Oda, particularly yeah. because I could see him getting uppercutted too, mm-hmm. and um, yep. losing all motivation for everything here. Right. Now, well, here's, that's that's where that's where it'll be good when he hits well, the ground. That's where he'll have to dig in and you know make the decision. Dig the roots deep and but, yeah. But here's the thing, mm-hmm. I I don't think that's gonna happen in terms of him losing his desire to box and stuff mm-hmm. because this show surprisingly is wholesome like yes. really wholesome yes. and i think it's because of the main character being who he is oh yeah yeah so what i would rather see is i would rather see a long match where it doesn't end in knockout sure and that's kind of the point oh yeah i wasn't i wasn't thinking knockout i was thinking he gets knocked oh. down and then no, that's no. where it's like i'm not trying to i'm not trying good, to you know? yeah i'm not trying to come against your theory here what i'm saying is that every single fight he's been in thus far has ended by knockout and this would be the first mm-hmm. match of Oda's career that didn't end by knockout, but it would be ending with Ippo scoring more points. Gotcha. Because he would land way more hits. He'd probably mm-hmm. uh, have way more stamina at the end of it. So uh, it would be about Oda staying up. Right. Like, mm-hmm. can you can you imagine us getting into Ippo's first debut match and we're ending up with the match at the end of it, cheering on Oda to get mm-hmm. back up. Right. To uh-huh. keep getting back up. Yeah. Yeah, because Ippo, I would love to see Ippo actually become terrifying for him. Uh-huh, like right. his punches yeah. being like, at, like he's all about. Oh my right, it's so good. I would love to see him get hit once by one of Ippo's and punches like, and just be like, "Oh my god, yeah. oh my god, I cannot let that happen again." Yeah. Holy crap! Or or he punches Ippo and Ippo just. You know, and, oh, and it's right. just like Ippo like, keeps his face guarded, uh-huh. but he gets a good right into his. But gut. then all and that Ipo training kind of, with the with the oh, you know, like the coach, yeah, yeah, with and, the Ipo, and Ipo maybe like backs up against the fe- mm-hmm. the the ring, and then he just kind of goes, <gasps> and then he's like, oh god, he's like, what okay. is this monster? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. I love how simple a boxing match is in concept. But mm-hmm. how different it can be when executed well, and I feel like sure. this is the show for us uh-huh. to see yeah. different oh, yeah. ways that yeah. a boxing yeah. match yeah. can really be executed. Yeah. Like I feel like, all, like every Rocky movie, every like <laughs> dumb like other boxing movie, like a war. What was it, Warrior? Um, uh, um, uh, yeah, the one with the dad and stuff, and the the brothers. Well, except that was that was uh, MMA. Oh, that was MMA. You're yeah, right. Yeah. You're right. Never mind. So I was like grappling, and you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, no. That's, but yeah, let's see what do, what do I know? <laughs> so, but guys, this is a lot of fun. Oh. If you want to see the next episode's reaction where Epo and Oda throw down, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full link reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access where you can chat with us about stories or just whatever. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.